so hello everyone let us continue our discussions on minors and cofactors of a determinant actually already i have started the minor and cofactors in the last class i have given the definition and i have explained how to find the minor of an element even i have explained the cofactor part also let us recall once because yesterday i have not given the example of a cofactor so let us recall once a minor and then cofactor what is minor a minor of an element a minor of an element of a determinant is the determinant obtained by deleting the ith row and jth column of the element yes once again i am repeating the minor of an element aij small letter aij the minor of an element aij of a determinant is the determinant obtained by deleting the ith row and jth column of the element right and minor is always denoted by mij capital letter m in suffix we used to write ij i represent what ith row jth column okay now what is cofactor i have written here the formula again actually cofactor is denoted by cij or capital letter aij so cij or aij this is equal to formula is minus 1 to the power i plus j minus 1 to the power i plus j into mij into minor of that element m for minor okay so this is the formula to calculate the cofactor of an element to cofactor or to find the cofactor of an element of the determinant right okay and apart from these two definitions i have given two important formula also that is a important point the first point is expansion of any determinant expansion of a determinant say a11 a12 a13 this is a determinant of order 3 so expansion of determinant can be written in cofactor form also generally if the determinant of order 3 is given to us we know how to expand actually general method jo hai we can expand it along first row or we can expand it along second row or we can expand it along third row even we can expand it along first column or second column or third column right but this expansion can be represented in cofactor form also kya hai wo cofactor form a11 into c11 plus a12 into c12 plus a13 into c13 okay a11 means this element only c11 is what it is the cofactor of this corresponding element a12 is the second element what is c12 it is the cofactor of this element a13 is the third element c13 is nothing but the cofactor of this third element okay or or you can write it as a21 into c21 plus a22 into c22 plus a23 into c23 or a31 into c31 plus a32 into c32 plus a33 into c33 so there are three results any one you have to you can use to expand the determinant in cofactor form okay so expansion of determinant of order 3 can be written in cofactor form also these are the results yesterday only in the last class i have given these results okay apart from this point one more point i have given aur wo main bataya tha ki wo point kabhi true false रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन में भी आ सकता है नहीं तो डायरेक्ट न्यूमेरिकल बेस्ड क्वेश्चन में भी आ सकते हैं वो पॉइंट क्या है दिस इज द पॉइंट इफ द एलिमेंट्स इफ द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ ए रो और ए कॉलम इफ द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ ए रो और ए कॉलम आर मल्टीप्लाइड विथ को फैक्टर्स ऑफ एनी अदर रो और कॉलम देन दे आर साम इज ऑलवेज जीरो वन सेकेंड आई एम रिपीटिंग द सेकेंड पॉइंट if the elements of any row or any column of a determinant 
are multiplied with the cofactors of any other row or column of a determinant then their sum is always zero what is the difference then between this point and this one yaha pe dekha dikha jata hai ke a11 ke sath c11 ko multiply kiya gaya hai which means the corresponding cofactor of a11 is c11 the corresponding cofactor of a12 is c12 the corresponding cofactor of a13 is c13 agar same cofactor hoga to means corresponding cofactor hoga to then we can expand in this way but if the elements of a row or any column of a determinant are multiplied with the cofactors of any other row or column of a determinant then their sum is always zero यही पॉइंट का एग्जाम्पल मैं अभी देने जा रहा हूं ओके सो लेटस टेक वन एग्जाम्पल फाइंड द माइनोर्स फाइंड द माइनोर्स एंड को फैक्टर्स ऑफ द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ दिस डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ ऑर्डर थ्री बिकॉज दे आर आर टोटल नाइन एलिमेंट्स ओके सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द माइनोर्स एंड को फैक्टर्स ऑफ द डिटर्मिनेंट दिस वन एंड वेरीफाई दैट एंड वेरीफाई दैट a11 into c31 plus a12 into c32 plus a13 into c33 this is always equal to 0 kya hai ye which point second point ka statement hai so if elements of any row or column of a determinant are multiplied with the cofactors of any other row or column of a determinant then their sum is always 0 so this is that's why it is equal to zero but you have to verify this one this is the second part of this question the first part of this question is you have to find first minors and cofactors of this determinant and we all know that without minor we cannot determine cofactor kyunki cofactor ka jo formula hai ye formula mein minor use kiya jata hai right so isiliye pehle minor nikalna hai uske baad uska corresponding elements ka cofactor nikalna hai now i will explain how to find out the minors and cofactors of all the nine elements because it is a determinant of order 3 so that means there are total nine elements okay so what is the first element here the first element is 2 that means here a11 is equal to 2 that is m11 to fit kya hoga a11 is 2 that means the element m11 means the minor of this element so how to find the minor the minor of an element aij of a determinant is the determinant obtained by deleting the ith row and jth column so if we delete if we delete the position of 2 which means the ith row and jth column of 2 so fir kya kya rahega 0 4 5 minus 7 yes so 0 4 5 minus 7 ko abhi expand karna hai you know how to expand the determinant of order 2 just cross multiplication 0 into minus 7 that is 0 minus 5 into 4 that is minus 20 this is a minor of 2 therefore c11 which means the cofactor what is the formula minus 1 to the power i plus j i and j both are 1 so 1 plus 1 into mij what is the value of mij that is minus 20 so this is equal to minus 20 only because minus 1 to the power 2 is 1 only 1 into minus 20 is minus 20 so the cofactor of 2 is minus 20 okay similarly now find out the cofactor uh, minors and cofactors of remaining elements also so a12 a12 is minus 3 therefore m12 is equal to delete the position of minus 3 6 into minus 7 minus 42 minus 4 that is minus 46 c12 cofactor minus 1 to the power 1 plus 2 into minus 46 into minus 46 now minus 1 to the power 3 is minus 1 minus 1 into minus 46 is 46 okay then a13 you have to find the, uh, the cofactors of each and every elements minors and cofactors of each and every elements now c13 is 5 therefore m13 m13 will be kya hoga? 30 minus 0 that is 30 only c13 this is equal to minus 1 to the power 1 plus 3 into 30. This is equal to 30 only. Then a21. a21. This is equal to a21 means 6. m21 to fill kya hoga. m21 means delete the position of 6. Delete the position of 6. Minus 3 into minus 7, 21. 21 minus 25. 
21 minus 25 is minus 4. C21, this is equal to minus 1 to the power 2 plus 1 into minus 4. This is equal to 4 only. Then A22, A22 is nothing but 0. Therefore, M22 kya hoga? M22 means delete the position of 0. If I delete the position of 0, 2 into minus 7, that is minus 14, minus 5, minus 19. So C22, this is equal to minus 1 to the power 2 plus 2 into minus 19, which is equal to minus 19 only. Then A23, A23 means second of, that is 4 only. So M23 to fit kya hoga? Delete the position of 4. 2 into 5, 10. 10 plus 3, that is 13. So C23, this is equal to minus 1 to the power 2 plus 3 into 13. So this is equal to minus 13 only. Next, the third row, that is A31. A31 is 1. M31 to fit kya hoga? Delete the position of this one. Delete the position of this one. Minus 12. Is minus 12. What about C31? C31 is minus 1 to the power 3 plus 1 into minus 12. This is equal to minus 12 only. Next, A32. A32 is 5 here. So what will be the value of M32? M32 means delete the position of 5. If you delete the position of 5, then what will happen? 8, 8 minus 30, 8 minus 30, that is minus 22, minus 22. Therefore, C32, this is equal to minus 1 to the power 3 plus 2 into minus 22. This is equal to 22 only. The last element is a 7, minus 7. So, A33 is minus 7. So, M33, then what will happen? Delete the position of minus 7, 0 plus 18. That is 18 only. Therefore, C33, this is equal to minus 1 to the power 3 plus 3 into 18. So, this is equal to 18. So, these are the minors and cofactors of this determinant. Okay. So, first part is over. Just, I have used the definitions of minors and cofactors. That is the formula. Cofactor ka formula jo likha hua hai, wohi formula apply kiya. Aur cofactor find out karne ke liye to minor chahiye. To isi liye pehle minor find out kiya. If, along with that, you have to find the cofactors. Okay. So these are the minors and cofactors of all the nine elements. So first part is over. Now the second part. Second part mein kya bola gaya hai ke? Verify that. Verify that. A11 into C31. So we all know uh, the values. A11, A11 is what? Here A11 is 2. So take left hand side now, second part. Left hand side is A11. What is the value of A11? That is 2 only. So 2 into 2 into A3, uh, C31. What is the value of C31? C31 is minus 12. So 2 into minus 12 plus A12. What is the value of A12? A12 is minus 3. Minus 3 into C32. C32 is 22, 22 plus A13, this one is A13, sorry, this one is not C13, this is A13, A13 into, A13 into C13, so A, the value of A13 is 5, so 5 into C1, C33, so C33 kya hai yaha pe 18, C33 is 18, now once you check whether we will get 0 or not, that is minus 24, minus 24, minus 66, plus 90. Yes, so 66 plus 24, minus minus plus, this is equal to minus 90 plus 90, which is equal to 0. And this is equal to right hand side. Okay, so, ye jo second point mein kal diya tha, even aaj bhi likha mein, if the elements of a row or a column, are multiplied with the cofactors of any other row or column, then their sum is always zero. देखो यहाँ पे a11, a12, a13. तो मतलब कौन सा row और column का elements लिया गया है? First row, a11, a12, a13. लेकिन इसके साथ जो multiply किया गया है cofactors, वो cofactors किसका है? Whether the cofactors are the cofactors of the corresponding elements? No, because here the cofactors are c31. C31 तो ये third row में आ जाता है, 
तो इसीलिए बोला गया है कि इफ द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ एनी रो और एनी कॉलम ऑफ ए डिटर्मिनेंट आर मल्टीप्लाइड विथ द को फैक्टर्स ऑफ एनी अदर रो और कॉलम ऑफ ए डिटर्मिनेंट देन दे आर सम इज ऑलवेज जीरो एंड दिस इज द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन ओके सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द माइनर्स एंड को फैक्टर्स सो आई हैव गिवन एग्जांपल्स आल्सो ठीक से यहां से पढ़ना है यहां से शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन भी आ सकते हैं और इट्स लाइक दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन आल्सो मे कम ओके एंड दिस पॉइंट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर प्रॉपर्ली कभी कभी ट्रू फॉल्स क्वेश्चन आ सकता है नहीं तो डायरेक्ट ऐसा न्यूमेरिकल बेस्ड क्वेश्चन भी दे सकता है ओके ना आई विल डिस्कस द अनदर पार्ट ऑफ द डिटर्मिनेंट so now i will discuss about singular and non singular matrix so what is singular matrix a square matrix a square matrix capital letter a is said to be singular a square matrix capital letter a is said to be singular if determinant of a is equal to 0 a square matrix capital letter a is said to be singular if determinant of a is equal to 0 and a square matrix a is said to be non singular if determinant of a is not equal to 0 yahan se kabhi kabhi one mark ka question bhi puch sakta hai long question mein bhi use hota hai ye concept but short question mein bhi aa sakta hai yahan se theek hai example main de dunga सिंगुलर मैट्रिक्स का कंडीशन डेफिनेशन क्या है ए स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स कैपिटल लेटर ए इज सेड टू बी सिंगुलर इफ डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ ए इक्वल टू जीरो वेर एज ए स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स कैपिटल लेटर ए इज सेड टू बी नॉन सिंगुलर इफ डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ ए इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो सो लेट अस टेक वन एग्जांपल ऑफ सिंगुलर मैट्रिक्स कैसे पता चलेगा कि वो सिंगुलर है कि नहीं से कैपिटल लेटर ए इज इक्वल टू मैट्रिक्स टू वन Six three, whether it is a square matrix or not. Yes, it is a square matrix of order two. There are four elements, two horizontal lines and two vertical lines. So it is a square matrix. And for singular or non-singular, the matrix must be a square matrix. Okay, because determinant find out करना है ना. So determinant is what? Determinant का definition क्या है? A determinant is a number associated to a square matrix. Yes. So for the expansion, we need always a square matrix. So say a equal to two one six three. Then determinant of a is equal to क्या होगा? Determinant of a is equal to determinant two one six three. Yes or not? Now if I cross multiply it, two three is at six minus six into one six. This is equal to zero. Now since determinant of a is equal to zero, therefore we can say that this matrix is a singular matrix. okay a square matrix capital letter a is said to be singular if determinant of a equal to 0 which means after expansion you have to get 0 but if determinant of a is not equal to 0 then that matrix is called a non singular matrix okay so ye to singular matrix ka ek example hai so uh, take one more example jaisa short question mein aa sakta hai one more example you can take For what value of lambda? The question is. For what value of lambda? The matrix, the matrix one lambda zero, three minus one two, four one five. Is singular. is singular for what value of lambda the matrix this is one square matrix yes or not what is the order of this matrix 3 by 3 so for what value of lambda this matrix is singular question generally agar one mark ka aayega to aisa type ka question aayega okay so it is here in this question already mentioned that this matrix is singular so you have to find the value of lambda right so since this matrix is singular which means we can say that determinant of this matrix is always equal to 0 which means determinant of 1 lambda 0 3 minus 1 2 4 1 5 is always equal to 0 according to question yes 
already in this question here it is mentioned that this matrix is singular so the matrix will be singular if determinant of a is equal to zero if determinant of this matrix is equal to zero right so now you expand it you have to expand because determinant is what it is a number associated to a square matrix so what is the first element first element is one now delete the position of one minus one into five that is minus five minus two minus lambda into now delete the position of lambda three into five fifteen fifteen minus eight and the third element is zero so no need to write this is equal to zero so minus seven minus seven lambda which is equal to zero that is minus seven lambda is equal to seven therefore lambda is equal to minus one so for what value of lambda the matrix is singular lambda is equal to minus one so this is one example related to singular and non-singular matrix ठीक है तो ये सिंगुलर नॉन सिंगुलर अगर क्लियर हुआ तो इसके बाद मैं एड ज्वाइंट में जा सकता हूं लाइक एड ज्वाइंट ऑफ ए मैट्रिक्स ओके आफ्टर सिंगुलर एंड नॉन सिंगुलर नाउ आई वांट टू डिस्कस एड ज्वाइंट ऑफ ए मैट्रिक्स दीज आर इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ डिटर्मिनेंट ओके एड ज्वाइंट of a matrix now what is adjoint singular or non singular ke liye wo matrix kya hona chahiye tha square matrix to adjoint ke liye bhi wo matrix square matrix hona hai theek hai so the definition is the adjoint of a square matrix the adjoint of a square matrix capital letter a is equal to a i j of order n into n also we can write square matrix means equal number of rows and columns the adjoint of a square matrix a is defined as is defined as the transpose of the matrix is defined as the transpose of the matrix obtained by the cofactor of aij once again i am repeating the adjoint of a square matrix capital letter a equal to aij is defined as the transpose of which matrix the transpose of matrix a the transpose of matrix a defined by the cofactor of small letter aij okay defined by the cofactor of small letter a i j that means that means say capital letter a is equal to matrix a11 a12 a13 a21 a22 a23 a31 a32 a33 one matrix is given the order of this matrix is 3 by 3 what is the definition of adjoint the adjoint of a square matrix a is defined as the matrix is defined as the matrix obtained by the transpose of the cofactors which means to find the adjoint of this square matrix whether it is a square matrix or not yes it is a square matrix equal number of rows and columns are there so to find the adjoint of this square matrix what you have to do first first of all you have to find the cofactors of each and every element okay to find the adjoint of any square matrix first of all you have to find the cofactors of each and every element and after getting the cofactors you just transpose it then only we will get the adjoint of this particular matrix okay once again i am repeating one matrix is given to us which is a square matrix of order 3 to determine the adjoint of this matrix first of all we have to find the cofactors of each and every element one example i have given in today's class how to find the minors and cofactors so in this that way only you have to find the cofactors so you have to find the cofactors of each and every element and after getting the cofactors you just transpose of those cofactors you will get the adjoint of the matrix right so if a equal to this one then adjoint of a adjoint of a which is denoted by adj it is the short form of adjoint 
uh, joint of any matrix A is denoted by A D J. So A D J of A, which is equal to, which is equal to, I kya bola tha? You have to find the cofactors of each and every element. What will be the cofactor of A one one? The cofactor of A one one will be C one one. Yes. Cofactor of A one two will be C one two, C one three, C two, C two one, C two two, C two three, C three one, C three two. C three three and then don't forget to transpose it. Then if you if I transpose it, then what will you get? C one one, C one two, C one three, C one three, C two one, C two two, C two three, C three one, C three two, C three three. This is called the adjoint of the given matrix capital letter A. वेरी सिंपल ओनली वेरी सिंपल अगर डेफिनेशन समझ में नहीं आया क्लियर नहीं हुआ तो मैं एग्जाम्पल से क्लियर कर दूंगा वन मैट्रिक्स विल बी गिवेन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू फाइंड द को फैक्टर्स ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी एलिमेंट आफ्टर गेटिंग द को फैक्टर्स आफ्टर गेटिंग द को फैक्टर्स देन जस्ट यू ट्रांसपोज इट यू नो हाउ टू ट्रांसपोज ट्रांसपोज मीन्स वॉट इंटरचेंजिंग द रोज एंड कॉलम्स सो आफ्टर इंटरचेंजिंग द रोज एंड कॉलम्स देन ओनली वी विल गेट द एड जॉइंट ऑफ दैट मैट्रिक्स An adjoint of a matrix is denoted by A D J of A. Clear? So this is an example of order three. अगर order two होगा तो इसका एक shortcut method है. अगर order two है तो इसका एक shortcut method है. वो shortcut method में भी बताऊंगा. So this is all about order three. The adjoint. What is adjoint? The adjoint of a square matrix A, capital letter A equal to A I J. is defined as the transpose of the matrix is defined as the transpose of the matrix formed by the cofactors of the elements a i j kiska transpose karna hai cofactor ka transpose matlab jo elements question mein diya rahega aur har ek elements ka cofactor find out karne ke baad uska transpose karne se hi adjoint of a milega okay so this is all about adjoint of a matrix of order 3 but agar adjoint order 2 ka find out karna hai to uska shortcut method abhi bataunga main right suppose a square matrix of order 2 is given to us that is a equal to A one one, A one two, A two one, A two two. Suppose the square matrix of order two is given to us, and you have to find the adjoint of this matrix. So very simple. A shortcut method I will tell you. Very simple only. So to find the adjoint of a matrix of order two, the procedure is the procedure is adjoint of A is equal to Interchange a one one and a two two. I am giving the shortcut method. If the order of the matrix is two by two, then how to find the adjoint? What you have to do to find the adjoint? Just you interchange a one one and a two two. Position, position को interchange करना है, ठीक है? तो मतलब a one one के जगह में आ जाएगा a two two और a two two के जगह में आ जाएगा a one one. Interchange a one one and a two two, and change the signs of change the signs of a one two and a two one. क्या बोला मैं? Interchange the position of a one one and a two two. Interchange कर लिया. And after that, change the sign. Sign means plus minus yes and change the sign of a one two and a two one. मतलब ए वन टू और ए टू वन का पोजीशन इंटरचेंज नहीं करना है सिर्फ साइन चेंज करना है दैट इज माइनस ए वन टू माइनस ए टू वन सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द एडजॉइंट ऑफ मैट्रिक्स ऑफ ऑर्डर टू वेरी सिंपल शॉर्टकट मेथड ठीक है नहीं तो नहीं तो इसका भी सबका को फैक्टर फाइंड आउट करके फिर ट्रांसपोज करना दैट विल टेक मोर टाइम राइट सो दिस इज द शॉर्टकट मेथड इफ द ऑर्डर ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स इज टू बाई टू ओके Just you have to interchange these two diagonal elements and change the signs of non-diagonal part. That is a one two or a two one का सिर्फ sign change करना है, not position. Let us take one example. Let us take one example. 
say capital letter A is equal to 4 minus 5, 6, 3. One matrix is given. Find the adjoint of this matrix. I will explain in two methods. Okay, I will explain in two ways. The first one is the shortcut method I will explain. And the second one is the long card. Long method means the long method is what? The long method means you have to find the cofactors and then transpose karna hai, uske baad adjoint nikal hai. To main do method hi explain karke dikhaunga. Okay. First main shortcut method dikhaunga kya hai. So if A is given, then adjoint of A, this is equal to, adjoint of A is equal to, kya karna hai? Interchange the position. So matlab 3 yaha pe aayega, 4 yaha pe aayega. And then change the signs. Change the sign. मतलब अगर plus है तो वो minus हो जाएगा, minus है तो plus हो जाएगा. तो ये जो minus five है, this minus five will become plus five and six will become minus six. So this is the answer. एक ही step में खत्म. अगर shortcut method use करना है तो एक ही step में खत्म होता है. अगर वो long method use करना है तो वो क्या है देखो. अगर long method use करना है तो If you want to use the long method, then you have to find the cofactors of each and every element. And we all know that to find the cofactor, we should know the minor also. Okay, so what is A11 here? A11 is 4. M11 to fir kya hoga? Delete the position of 4. This is 3. C11 to fir kya hoga? Minus 1 to the power 1 plus 1 into 3, right? This is equal to 3 only. Then A12. What's the value of A12? This is equal to minus 5. M12 ka value kya hoga? If you delete the position of minus 5, this will be 6. Then M1, sorry, C12 will be then. C12 is equal to minus 1 to the power 1 plus 2 into 6, which is equal to minus 6. Then A21, what's the value of A21? A21 is equal to 6 here. M21 then fi minus 5. Then C21. This is equal to minus 1 to the power 2 plus 1 into minus 5, which is equal to 5 only. And the last element is A22. A22 is equal to 3. M22 is equal to 4. C22, this is equal to minus 1 to the power 2 plus 2 into 4, which means this is equal to 4 only. Okay, so these are the cofactors of all four elements, right? May I long method use kar rao? Okay. Now to find the adjoint, to find the adjoint, adjoint of A is equal to write all the cofactors of the corresponding element. What's the corresponding, uh, what's the cofactor of 4? The cofactor of 4 is 3, right here 3. The cofactor of minus 5 is minus 6, right here minus 6. The cofactor of 6 is 5, right here 5. And the cofactor of 3, cofactor of 3, 3 is the last element, the cofactor of 3 is 4, right here 4, okay? And don't forget to transpose it. Both lamba hai method. Agar wo long method use karna hai to. After getting the values of cofactors, you have to transpose it also. So now if I transpose this one, to fir mujhe kya milega? First row, first column mein aajayega. That means 3 minus 6. 5, 4. This is the adjoint of the required matrix. Yabhi dekho, dono ka hi the answer same hai. This may be 3, 5, minus 6, 4 mila. This may be mujhe 3, 5, minus 6, 4 mila. So there is no difference. Q difference hoga. Dono hi to correct method hai. This one is the shortcut method. Just you have to interchange the diagonal elements. You have to interchange the position of the diagonal elements. And change the signs of the non-diagonal elements. This is shortcut. But if you want to use this long method. Kya karna parega? Find the cofactors of all the four elements. Then put the cofactors and then transpose it transpose karne ke baad jo result milega that will be the adjoint of the matrix right so these are all about adjoint order 3 ka bhi example diya order 2 ka ya shortcut method bhi bataya long method bhi bataya there are some properties of adjoint of matrices now i will give those properties there are few properties of adjoint of matrix so these are the properties the first property is adjoint of A transpose where A is a square matrix of order N. So adjoint of A transpose is equal to adjoint of A whole transpose. Yaha se short question bhi aasakta hai. Okay. So 
तो एडजोइंट ऑफ ए ट्रांसपोज इज इक्वल टू एडजोइंट ऑफ ए होल ट्रांसपोज द सेकंड प्रॉपर्टी इज एडजोइंट ऑफ के इन टू ए व्हाट इज के के इज एनी रियल नंबर ओके सो एडजोइंट ऑफ के इन टू ए दिस इज इक्वल टू के टू द पावर एन माइनस वन इन टू एडजोइंट ऑफ ए व्हाट इज एन एन इज द ऑर्डर ऑफ द मेट्रिक्स ए एन इज द ऑर्डर ऑफ द मेट्रिक्स ए कैपिटल लेटर ए इज अ स्क्वायर मेट्रिक्स ऑफ ऑर्डर एन k is what it belongs to real number n is nothing but the order of the matrix a okay so adjoint of k into a this is equal to k to the power n minus 1 into adjoint of a property number 3 adjoint of a into b a and b are nothing but the square matrices of order n a and b are nothing but the square matrices of order n so adjoint of a into b this is equal to adjoint of b into adjoint of a adjoint of b into adjoint of a don't write adjoint of a into adjoint of b okay the fourth one is determinant of adjoint of a yahan se one mark ka question bahut bar aaya tha board mein aur even objective purpose ke liye bhi chahiye so determinant of adjoint of a this is equal to determinant of a to the power n minus 1 once again i am repeating a is nothing but a square matrix of order n so determinant of adjoint of a this is equal to determinant a to the power n minus 1 determinant of adjoint of adjoint a determinant of adjoint of adjoint a this is equal to determinant a to the power n minus 1 whole square these two results actually all properties all five properties are important lekin ye dono mein se zyada questions uh, aaya board mein so determinant of adjoint of adjoint a this is equal to determinant a to the power n minus 1 whole square so these are the five properties ye property use karke kuch short questions bhi discuss karna hai so i will discuss those questions also but you have to remember these five properties properly okay the first one is adjoint of a transpose equal to adjoint of a whole transpose adjoint of k into a this is equal to k to the power n minus 1 into adjoint of a where k belongs to real number n is nothing but the order of the matrix a adjoint of a into b is equal to adjoint of b into adjoint of a where a and b are the square matrices of order n determinant of adjoint of a this is equal to determinant a to the power n minus 1 determinant of adjoint of adjoint a this is equal to determinant a to the power n minus 1 whole square so ye properties theek se practice karke yaad rakhna hai in the next class i will give some short questions related to these properties and along with that i will discuss how to find the inverse of the matrix uk inverse ka इनवर्स फाइंड आउट करने के लिए थोड़ा एडजोइंट का कॉन्सेप्ट चाहिए नॉट ओनली एडजोइंट रिटर्न सिंगुलर नॉन सिंगुलर का भी कॉन्सेप्ट चाहिए सो टुडे आई हैव डिस्कस ऑल दिस थिंग्स लाइक सिंगुलर क्या होता है नॉन सिंगुलर क्या होता है इवन आई हैव डिस्कस एडजोइंट ऑफ मैट्रिक्स ऑल्सो इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास आई विल डिस्कस हाउ टू फाइंड द इनवर्स ऑफ ए मैट्रिक्स ओके हाउ टू फाइंड द इनवर्स ऑफ ए मैट्रिक्स एंड फॉर दिस यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस प्रोपर्टीज एंड द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सिंगुलर नॉन सिंगुलर as well as how to find the adjoint of a matrix whether it is order 2 or 3 agar order 2 hoga to you can use the shortcut method or if you want to use the long method you can use the long method also okay so thank you for today next class i will discuss the inverse of a matrix